Hey guys, Hartronics here. Got lots of good lumber all over the place. 2x4s, 2x6s, 2x8s, 2x12s. <laughs> I think the only thing I don't have is 2x10s. But I'm gonna build the platform that is the staircase landing down there, and then hopefully even maybe the uh, part of the stairs, depending on how far I get. So let's jump right into it. I'll try to film as I'm going. If I forget for a while, then I apologize in advance, but uh, hopefully you'll be able to actually see me um, doing something in this vlog rather than just talking about what I did. Okay, so the first thing I had to do was take a measurement from the top of the subfloor to the bottom of the basement, and that measurement is, is basically nine feet. And from that, I knew from my drawings here that I had to subtract 77.5 inches to find the height of my, my landing um, because that's going to give me all my rise and run for all my steps and whatever's left over from that is the height of the platform. So the total height of the platform has got to be 30.5 inches uh, which means 29.75 inches to the top of the framing and then three quarters of an inch on top of that for the subfloor. So I'm going to start trying to lay out some lumber for the platform and go from there. Alright, so let's talk about framing here for a second. What I'm going to have, and this is just a rough um, you know, layout so that I can figure out the widths of all my boards exactly, is on the bottom, so if we look at it this way, we're going to have a pressure treated 2x6 that's in contact with the concrete. Um, we don't want to do just normal lumber because over time it might rot because of the moisture in the concrete. Then on top of that there's going to be a set of studs that are also going to be 2x6 studs. And on top of that we're going to have a top plate um, and that's going to be just normal 2x6. And then on top of that we're going to have a 2x8 and that's going to be our joists. And on top of that we'll have um, three quarters of an inch of Advantech, but I don't need to calculate that because I already subtracted it off. So now I can look at the dimensions of all these and figure out how high each of my studs needs to be, and then I can start laying those out to be cut. Okay, so we've got 29.75 total inches of framing, and we've got 10 and a half inches of lumber aside from the studs. So that means that this is going to be 19 and a quarter for the height of these studs here. Uh, I know the width is going to be roughly 51 inches and roughly 41 for the uh, length, but I'm going to measure those next to make sure and keep going. Right, I just finished laying out these four uh, plates, um, basically just doing studs at 16 inches on center, one there, 16, 32, 48, and then the last one. These are going to be kind of close together, but I want to stay on layout for, you know, drywall and stuff. So now i got to cut these studs. There's one, two, three, four, five per. So it's going to be ten studs total, and those are the 19 and a quarter inchers. So I can get a couple out of those scrap pieces over there. And once I have those, once I have five of them, I think, or maybe even less than that. I'm gonna just do a test fit and see how everything looks. All right, got a couple of studs, two and a third one over here. So I'm gonna test these in my nice test area over here with a plate and a pressure treated. This is going to be the bottom plate, so we'll set it here roughly. This is the top plate. And here's a stud. And here's another stud. So this is what the box 
is going to look like. I'll just fill in the studs and keep going. So we got all 10 studs cut, so now I just got to start assembling both sides of the wall and uh, bring it down and put it in place and see how it looks. Alright, initial test fit looks pretty good. Um, this is just sort of roughly lining it up. For a second I was like, oh no, it goes past the pole, but then I remembered that it's going to stop before it gets to the pole. So uh, I'm going to fill in the rest of the studs on this one and build the other one and bring that one down here too. Okay, so we now have two walls or box parts that are exactly the same. Okay, now that these are both downstairs and approximately in the right spot, I am going to cut the rim board and then I guess start cutting the joists after that and uh, get this thing more or less finished up. Okay, both of the rim boards are toenailed on and now it's time to get a final measurement for the joists and then I'll cut those out of 2x8 and nail those into the rim board and then also probably toenail those and this will be a fantastic platform. Okay, except for the subfloor, the box is now complete. I ended up adding these extra braces down here because it had a lot of sway um, in that direction. So I've just put one on each side and it's just a 2x6 that's like toenailed, well, but it's screws um, into there. Doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> so that's going to be the landing and it's the right height, although I should check to confirm. I don't know if you can see that or not, but here we're spot on. That's all I'm going to do for tonight. I'll throw the subfloor on there tomorrow or something. Okay, so back over to this platform here. It's a couple days later. I got the subfloor screwed down, um, put some liquid nails underneath it, and put a whole bunch of screws in to prevent squeaks and stuff. Got a little notch cut out for the post here, and I also anchored it to the concrete with these little anchors here. Well, actually, they're not that little, <laughs> but anyway, it's anchored. I got a little bit of an overhang here. You can see um, this is going to end up being three quarters of an inch so that my um, riser for this first step will be able to um, be flush and still be the right size and all that. So I'll trim this back to three quarters of an inch probably after I'm all done. Um, but now I can actually start on the stringers for the stairs. All right, so before I actually cut this out, I just want to show you what I've got here. This is my 2x12 uh, stringer. This is going to be the template. Um, just want to show you, we've marked out bottom and top over there. And what we have here is a series of lines that were drawn using a, a square, basically, with um, little stoppers at very specific spots and for this it happens to be 10 inches for a tread and 7 and 3 quarter inches for a riser. So you can see there's our 7 and 3 quarters, there's our 10. And basically did that the whole way up here marking out rise and run. And with a couple of modifications. One is that for this first uh, tread, if you will, we already have a tread in place which is the subfloor basically and we're not going to put this underneath the subfloor it rests on top of it so we need to cut this one shorter by three quarters of an inch which is the thickness of our plywood and then also we have a notch for this thing called a kicker which is basically a two by four that goes all the way across and gets nailed to the subfloor and just helps uh, prevent the stringer from pushing forward over time it just keeps it nice and secure in there so I'm going to get this up on some sawhorses that don't have a whole bunch of lumber on it and start cutting it out. Alright, I just finished the first pass of cuts on this stringer. Um, went pretty well. I overcut here because I uh, didn't feel like having to get a handsaw, so I just overcut a little bit on the top side. Um, the bottom side doesn't have an overcut. It's just because of the way circular saws are. Just lower the depth as far as it'll go and overcut about half an inch or three quarters of an inch. So we got all of these cut out, and then we got our top up here, um, which we just lopped off after our 10 inches of, of last uh, tread here. And the straps, we're going to secure these with uh, metal straps. They're going to um, get nailed into the back of here and come around here, 
and then get nailed to the beam under the floor. And so now what I got to do is I'm going to put some uh, block on the back side of this and then I'm going to line up my other stringers and mark them out and then cut those. I just decided to bring this down and do a test fit. I don't know if that's actually where it will go up there or not. But if it is, then this is pretty close down here. We're right at the uh, edge of the subfloor, which is what we were hoping for, edge of the platform. And we got our notch for our kicker. And I should measure the height on this. So this should be seven inches. And I know you're kind of upside down here, but we are right at seven, which is fantastic. So we can keep going with the other two stringers. Okay, quick update. We got all three stringers cut and my circular saw is basically out of batteries at eight through, uh, let's see, four, eight amp hours of, <laughs> of battery. Well, I'm probably like seven because I got a little bit left, but got all my notches cut. Um, I did a little bit of uh, micro adjusting afterwards and now I'm going to start maneuvering these into place just to see how everything looks. Okay, so though these aren't actual steps, they're just pieces of 2x that I put on there for the time being. Uh, I got all the three of the stringers in place. Let me walk around to this side. They're all fastened securely to the kicker down there. And also using the straps up top in there. And I just was laying some stuff across to see how flat they were. Um, I gotta actually cut the Advantech down for the treads and risers. Um, but for tonight, this is a uh, good success. I have almost all of the treads and risers on. Now I just have to cut back the ho 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 ho. I have to cut <laughs> sorry, I'm excited that the stairs are almost done. Well, the first part of the stairs. We still have to do, I still have to do this section down here. But I'm going to hold off on that until we figure out what kind of flooring we actually want for the basement. I have to cut back this piece of subfloor right here so that it's flush with this guy right there. And actually I just realized that my measurement is wrong because I have to hold it back three quarters of an inch so that I have enough overlap for the last piece of riser, which is down there, and the last tread. So I can't mess that up because I only get one shot at that. So I'm going to go concentrate on that. I'll let you know how it goes. All right, I literally just finished cutting this back. Um, feels like it might work. Uh, I haven't even test fit the riser yet, so let's get the riser and test it out. All right. All right, what do you think? Is it going to fit? Leave a comment saying what you think fits or if it is too wide or something. All right, here we go. Well, <laughs> it looks like it would fit. It's just a little tall. I think that might be because there's these little glue blobs underneath. So let's try this again. Okay, I scraped the glue off and I shaved this down. This one right here is just a touch high. Uh, I might need to actually take a little bit more off of that, but yeah, I'm still catching a little. Let's try it again. Oh, it just wants to fit, but needs some persuasion. And the top part of the stairs are done. Yay! All right, let's walk up, up the stairs. It works like stairs, feels like stairs, therefore it is stairs. As always, thanks for watching. See ya! <laughs>